Senate researcher Red Barrels, creators of the upcoming survival horror game Outlast 2. The launch of our demo has created its fair share of reactions and we've witnessed, while analyzing social media data, a very disturbing trend. Ali K wrote, Yeah, I just finished the demo, need to change my pants. Thanks, Red Barrels. Millen Mitchell wrote, Own the first, played it for 15 minutes, sh myself, and never went back on. Good game. Gal Zoltan wrote, Hide your kids, hide your wife, get your diapers, get your headphones, it's coming. And it goes on and on and on. When uh, mammals are confronted with a severe threat to their survival, the adrenal medulla produces a hormonal cascade that results in high blood pressure, elevated heartbeat, and in cases of extreme fear, sudden voiding of the bowels. So we found a way to release Outlast 2 without you worrying about the release of number two. Introducing our Kickstarter project, Underscare's Outlast 2 Diapers. Oh yeah, they're real. We put underscares through rigorous beta testing. Until we reach the pinnacle of diaper technology. So now you can play in a state of abject terror and total comfort. And there's even a limited edition with a wearable nightlight. This is a real product. Fund this project, get your diaper and Outlast 2 Steam Key. And a sincere thank you from the bottom of our bottoms to those of you who support this project. I'm totally cool. Hi, I'm Jed Blue, known online as Froborn. I run the site My Little Pomo. My Little Pomo is a blog where every week I review a different episode of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. They're not normal reviews in the sense of me telling you if the episode is good or summarizing what it's about or anything like that. Instead, sometimes I take the episode as a whole, sometimes I take a scene or a character, and I unpack them and analyze them as works of art, as pieces of literature. It might sound a little scary, but really, when it comes down to it, it's just me having fun. One week I might be talking about the psychology of Pinkie Pie, the next week I might be talking about how the buffalo or a stand-in for the Palestinians. Anything and everything that I'm interested in, and hopefully some of you are too. However, this Kickstarter isn't about my website. This Kickstarter is about the next step in the project of which that website is one part. The next step is My Little Pomo Volume 1, a book about My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. The book takes all my articles on episodes of Season 1, expands and revises them, but on top of that, I've also got several new articles, for a total of more than 30 articles about My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Again, it's not a fan guide, it's not a behind-the-scenes guide, but it's just looking at the show as a work of art, treating it with the respect I believe it deserves, while also having the fun that the show creates. Thank you for listening. Take a look around this uh, page. Take a look at the site if you want. It's linked right below me. And uh, if you want to, chip in a couple bucks. If not, cool. At least we're all bronies together, right? Um, thanks, and have a great day. Facebook friends you have and the elegance of your selfies determines the quality of your mate. In this type of environment, it has become important to own really sexy technology. Meet Paul. Paul is the sexiest smartphone charger on the planet. Hi, I'm Justin, father of Paul. I created Paul because I wanted my technology to do more than just represent my sexuality. I want my technology to literally be sexy. This versatile design object doubles as a beautiful piece of classical art. It is a fantastic conversation object and can inspire creativity in the workplace. Paul is more than just a fun way to charge your smartphone. This project is about exploring mobile technology's effect on human sexuality. I need your help to move past the prototype phase and to do the first small production run of Paul's. 
I'm really excited about this project, and I know that Paul will love it in your home. Adopt a Paul of your own by backing this project today. Thanks, Kickstarters. Hi, my name is Greg Kiso, and this is Crystal Bacon. What exactly is Crystal Bacon? Well, it's a sculpture I created to honor the most delicious of all meats, bacon. And with the help of my wife, I turned this sculpture into jewelry, both earrings and necklaces, and Christmas ornaments. Now, is it real crystal? Well, no but it is made out of a high quality acrylic plastic. Why not real crystal? Well, I'm a designer here in Chicago and acrylic is a material I work with a ton. So much so I consider myself an acrylic artist. I take raw acrylic stock and through software and a variety of processes and techniques, I turn that acrylic into crystal bacon. It's a pretty labor intensive process but a labor of crystal bacony love. Once the crystal bacon is complete, my crafty wife and daughter take over and turn it into jewelry and ornaments. Why am I on Kickstarter? Well, while my boss at work is super cool and allows me to use the machines to make crystal bacon, I'm on my own to purchase the raw acrylic stock, and it's not exactly cheap. So I'm hoping to raise some funds to build up an inventory of acrylic. And in doing so, you're helping me bring crystal bacon to the world. Thank you for your time.